What's going on guys? Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to answer the question, do I need to wear my sling immobilizer? If so, how long do I need to wear it? And when can I take it off during the day? I'm going to go ahead and read from the established protocol that we have up here on the screen. And then I'm going to give you my feedback on alternative opinions on what I've seen regarding this. So basically the, the established opinion, you will be instructed by your surgeon to wear your sling for four to six weeks. That's almost universal. If you had a rotator cuff repair, you're going to be told to wear the sling four to six weeks. Uh, if you had a different procedure that was not a rotator cuff repair, it might still be shoulder surgery, there's different protocols. But this is specific to a rotator cuff repair. And what really makes the difference is it depends on the size of your tear, thus the extent of the rotator cuff repair. Uh, and the sling should be worn at all times. So I can tell you locally, surgeons are saying minimum six weeks if it's a major repair, large tear, minimum four weeks if it's a smaller tear, maybe a younger individual, you've been more active, you, you have less uh, complexities, you have healthier tissue, maybe you can get away with four weeks or less, but typically speaking, expect on a minimum of four weeks usually six weeks. You may have a small foam cushion between your arm and the body. So that's called an abduction pillow. Basically it goes over the rib cage and between the ribs and the forearm, it helps to move the shoulder, kind of open up the shoulder, move the elbow away from your body, which increases blood flow, which is important for tissue healing. It says this should be left in place at all times while wearing the sling. While the sling, um, while in the sling, the elbow should be bent at a right angle and the hand should be level with your elbow or slightly higher. I'm telling you right now, I've seen countless patients come in where the sling might be in the right position, but their hand is hanging down by their belly button uh, below the level of their elbow. It's important that we have the hand, the wrist in line with the elbow or even slightly higher to help with the circulation. I've seen situations where patients come in with just massive swelling in the hand, the wrist, the, the lower forearm, and that's because the hand has been down in that dependent position below the elbow. We wanna get the hand up, we wanna have it in the right position so that the sling is relatively comfortable. Um, you, may all, you may remove the sling for exercise as prescribed by the surgeon or therapist, icing, changing the dressing, or taking a shower. So there are gonna be times during the day that you'll remove the sling, but generally speaking, understand that the sling is there for a couple reasons. It's to protect the surgical site. The muscles above and below the surgical site might be otherwise healthy and normal, but we want to protect the surgical site itself. The other reason the sling is in place is because it's a reminder to you that you're not allowed to actively use that arm. You're not allowed to reach the arm away from the body to carry stuff, pick stuff up, do things with it. So having that sling on gives you that mental reminder to say, hey, this is out of commission for the next four to six weeks. Um, the sling should be comfortable. It should be fitted properly. I can tell you right now, almost 92% of the patients that come into my clinic require the sling be adjusted, even not just after surgery, but the sling will need to be adjusted as you get into two weeks, four weeks, six weeks of rehab because your body is going to change, your, your positioning is going to change, there is going to be more laxity in the system. So we want to just kind of continue to adapt the sling to your changing body. So your therapist will pay, play an integral role in making sure the sling is always fitted properly. There are some extra straps you're gonna have when you receive the sling. Some of them are to take the pressure off of the neck on the non-surgical side. Uh, there, there's a couple things that therapists know that they can, can, uh, they can use to adapt to make you more comfortable, but definitely just have it in your mind. You're gonna be wearing this device for six weeks. If you get out a little sooner, awesome good for you. Otherwise, six weeks is pretty much the standard. Guys, I'll catch you on the next video.